Opponents and proponents of the same-sex marriage issue continue to press their points of view. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has our top story. Catherine. Well, small and subdued gatherings today, one at the University of Hawaii Manoa campus and another at the foot of Father Damien's statue at the state capitol. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The power of prayer is why this small group supporting traditional marriage was compelled to turn out today. On Monday will be the big rally. And so this is the prayer before the boisterous time. It's kind of a, just a quiet, simple prayer walking around the Capitol. And, and you know, it's, it's in the spirit of Damien. We know that Damien prayed the rosary a lot. The group of Catholics marched under the banner of St. Damien's Advocates before attending noon mass at Our Lady of Peace. Who is conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? We thought that there should be something during the day. Today, just kind of the prelude, but also next week, there should be prayers while sessions are happening, while things are happening. That's a time to pray when things are happening. At about the same time across town, students at the University of Hawaii were gathering signatures on a petition supporting equal rights for gay couples. I'm straight and I don't really have many gay friends who want to get married, but I still feel really passionately about this issue because it's simply a human right to get married and I believe gay people have that right too. Students are being encouraged to submit testimony to lawmakers online. A couple weeks back there was a, uh, there was a resolution brought to the ASUH actually against gay marriage and I think that spurred a lot of discussion about the issue. Petitions and prayers heading for a collision course next week. Monday is expected to draw the largest crowds. The two sides have pulled permits, marriage equality in the morning, traditional marriage in the afternoon, and a two-hour break in between. Now, there are estimates that that first day of hearings on the same-sex bill could bring out thousands of people. Back to you, Paula.